Lightyear releases in theaters on June 17th, which is pretty damn close. So today I'm going to rank all the Pixar movies from the worst to the best, all 26 of them, Lightyear being the 26th film. So today we'll rank them, share your own ranking in the comment section down below. And now let's start with my ranking number 26 is Cars 2. Well, I don't think this is an unpopular opinion because most of the people consider Cars 2 to be the worst Pixar movie and so do I. Number 25, Brave. Again, this was more like a Disney animation film rather than a Pixar animation film. It just doesn't feel a lot Pixar-y and does not have the same stakes. Number 24, Cars 3. Not as bad as Cars 2, but still, it is not even close to top tier Pixar that we've been getting in uh, all these years. Number 23, The Good Dinosaur. I think it was a sweet film. Not bad at all. It's a great film in fact, but still, as I've said, uh, Pixar is a very strong brand and you have to be top tier to be at number uh, in top 10. Number 22, Cars 1. This is a franchise I'm not really connected with in the Pixar brand. I really don't care about the Cars franchise, I rarely have ever rewatched them. Number 21, A Bug's Life. One of the earlier Pixar films and it's still a good movie. It's a very good film. But Pixar has evolved into a very different brand these days. Number 20, Finding Dory. Again, this was a sort of a spin-off. I mean, it was a sort of a sequel, but it was not even near as good as Finding Nemo. Number 19, Monsters University. Another sequel which was not as good as the original, but I think this was still a pretty fun film. Number 18, Finding Nemo. Again, I'm really not connected to this fi uh, the Finding Nemo and Finding Dory uh, as much as a lot of you would be. I They make into my bottom tier. Number 17, Monsters Inc. I love these two characters and I think Monsters Inc. really delivers well on the third act, so it's higher up at number 17. Number 16, The Incredibles 2. Very fun film, very rewatchable, I absolutely love it. In fact, it's even very close to my number 15 pick, which is, hell, The Incredibles. I think both, I, I really like both of these Incredibles movies, they are very rewatchable to me, but I, uh, they just don't have the emotional stakes that a lot of the other Pixar movies have, at least for me. I know a lot of you have different opinion. Number 14 is Toy Story 4. Sorry, Toy Story 2. Uh, I really love the Toy Story franchise and Toy Story 2 is, uh, for me, at least re least rewatchable, but it's still a fantastic film. Number 13, Turning Red. Recently released Turning Red uh, makes into my top 13 of Pixar, which makes it top half. So yeah, consider itself pretty lucky. Number 12, Luca. Very simple film. But the ending, oh, the ending was just so emotional, it just got me. I had to keep it about uh, turning red. Number 11, Ratatouille. I really used to rewatch this a lot as a child, so it has a special connection with me. But still, it doesn't make it into my top 10. Number 10, Onward. I absolutely love this story, love the environment this movie is built in. Absolutely love this movie, very rewatchable. There's no complaints from my side. Number 9, Wall E. This is a really mature Pixar film. It uh, depicts a message about loneliness, and I really like that. Number 8, Lightyear. There are a lot of complaints about Lightyear. I don't get them. I think this movie is really awesome in every aspect. Uh, it's as good as the Toy Story films, at least for me, it is. Number 7, Toy Story. This one introduces us to these amazing characters and I think uh, I will forever remember this film for doing that. And, uh, and aside from the fact that it's already fantastic. Number six is Soul. This was actually one of my favorite films of the entire 2020 year uh, because this is gr groundbreaking storytelling in terms of animation. Number five, Up. The first 10 minutes of Up are really play a heavy part in bringing this movie in my top five. They are just downright incredible. Number four, Coco. What an amazing musical. I just cheer up every time I watch it again and again. It's just so enjoyable and such a joyous film and the ending is so emotional. I love it. Number three, Inside Out. Again, another controversial opinion. A lot of you don't like this film. Again, I don't get it. I think this movie is incredible, really creative and sort of, I really love it. And number two is Toy Story 3. 
This could have been the perfect ending for the Toy Story franchise, but they had to bring it again somehow. And I think they bring it again and I really like even it even more. Not the perfect ending, but certainly I think it's the best Pixar film. Very controversial, I know that. But I am so connected with that film and those characters that it had to make into my uh, it had to be my number one. So that was my ranking for all the 26 Pixar movies from the worst to the best. Share your own ranking in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Film Villa, thank you for watching.